Python is a high-level interpreted, interactive and object-oriented scripting language. Python is designed to be highly readable. It uses English keywords frequently, whereas other languages use punctuation and it has fewer syntactic constructions than other languages. Python is a widely used programming language in web development, game development, data analytics and machine learning. This video on top 10 Python projects will help you learn about some standard and exciting projects you can create using Python. You will understand making games, scraping data from the web and building machine learning models to solve business problems. On that note, if you are looking to become an AI expert and gain handsome salary packages, then have a look at wide range of AI and machine learning courses by Simply Learn in collaboration with the top universities across the globe. By enrolling in any of these certification programs, you will gain expertise in skills like generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT, explainable AI, machine learning algorithms, supervised and unsupervised learning, model training and optimization, and there's much more on the list. With hands-on experience in tools like ChatGPT, DALI, Python, OpenCV, TensorFlow, you will catch the eye of top recruiters. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now. Any year of experience is preferred to enroll in these courses, so check out the link mentioned in the description box below for more details. The first project we have in our list is a sentiment analysis project with Python. Sentiment analysis is the most trending Python project idea worked upon in various fields. It uses natural language processing, text analysis, and biometrics to systematically identify, extract, and study effective states and personal information. We use this technique in various fields such as e-commerce and review poll systems. Libraries used to create this project includes NLTK. The Python NLTK module aims at providing a complete solution to a natural language processing problem. NLTK helps with everything from splitting sentences from paragraphs, splitting up words, recognizing the part of speech of those words, highlighting the principal subjects, and then allowing the machine to understand what the text is all about. Scikit-learn is a machine learning library that features various classifications, regression, and clustering algorithms, including support vector machine, random forest, gradient boosting, k-means, and dbscan. The second project we have on our list is customer segmentation. Customer segmentation refers to the process of dividing customers into groups based on common characteristics or features. So companies can tend to each group effectively and appropriately. Libraries used to create this project includes NumPy. NumPy is a Python library that adds supports for large, multidimensional arrays and matrices, along with a massive collection of high-level mathematical functions to operate on these arrays. Pandas. Pandas is a Python library for data manipulation and analysis. It offers data structures and operations for manipulating numerical tables and time series. Scikit-learn. Scikit-learn is a machine learning library that features various classifications, regression, and clustering algorithms, including SVM, random forest, and many. It is also designed to interoperate with Python libraries like NumPy and Pandas. Matplotlib. Matplotlib is a Python library used for plotting charts and graphs from the derived data. The third project we have in our list is an object detection system. Object detection is a computer vision method and a popular Python project idea that allows us to identify and locate objects in an image or in a video. We can use this technique for various tasks to count items in a scene and determine and track their precise locations while accurately labeling them. Libraries used for this project includes TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a popular Python library used for deep learning. It can be used across various tasks but is mostly focused on training and inference of deep learning and neural networks. OpenSea. Open source computer vision library is an open source Python library used for machine learning and computer vision. It provides a common infrastructure for computer vision applications and speeds up machine perception in commercial products. Keras. Keras is an open source library that provides a Python interface for artificial neural networks. Keras used to support multiple machine learning and deep learning libraries, but since version 2.4, it acts as an interface only for the TensorFlow library. The next project we have in our list is a Twitter bot. A Twitter bot can control and manage a Twitter account via the Twitter API. The bot can autonomously perform all kinds of tasks such as tweeting, retweeting, linking, following, unfollowing, among others. Libraries used to create this project includes Tweepy. Tweepy is a Python library for accessing Twitter API. This library enables Python to communicate with the Twitter platform and use its API. Tinkto. Tinkto is the most commonly used method for developing a graphical user interface. 
It is a standard interface to the TKGUI toolkit shipped with Python. Tinta is the fastest and easiest way to create GUI applications. Number five on our list is a web crawler. A web crawler, often shortened to crawler, is an internet bot that systematically browses the World Wide Web, mostly for web indexing. Web search engine and some other websites use web crawling or similar methods to update their web content or indices of other sites' web content. Web crawlers copy pages for processing by a search engine which indexes the downloaded pages so that users can search more efficiently. Libraries used to create this project include Scrappy. Scrappy is a web crawling Python framework. It can also be used to extract data using APIs or a general purpose web crawler. Beautiful Soup Beautiful Soup is a Python package for parsing HTML and XML documents. It creates a parse tree for parsed pages that can extract data from HTML which is useful for web scraping. Moving on to number 6, we have a currency converter. The currency converter is another Python project that involves developing a simple software or an application that converts one currency into another to check its corresponding value. Libraries used to create this project includes requests. The requests module allows you to send HTTP requests using Python. The HTTP request returns a response object with all the response data including content, encoding, status, etc. Forex. Forex is a free foreign exchange rate and currency conversion Python library. It provides several features like a list of all currency rates, Bitcoin price for all currencies, converting the amount to Bitcoins, etc. Tinkta. Tinkta is the most commonly used method for developing a graphical user interface. Moving on to number 7, we have a calculator app. The calculator is a very important tool in our daily routines. If you are eager to delve into Python programming, creating a calculator is a straightforward yet valuable project. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through. You can create this project using Tinkter with simple and comprehensible steps. Libraries used to create this project includes math. Python has a built-in module that you can use for mathematical tasks. The math module has a set of methods and constants. Tinkter. Tinkter is the most commonly used method for developing a graphical user interface. Moving on to number 8, we have a dice rolling simulator. Crafting modest projects such as a text-based user interface, dice rolling application is a great way to enhance your Python programming pros. This endeavor will teach you the ropes of collecting and verifying user inputs, incorporating code from modules and packages, composing functions, leveraging for loops and conditionals, and presenting output in an organized manner through strings and the print function. Libraries used to create this project includes random. Random is a built-in module used for generating and working with random values. Random provides various methods that can be used for creating and manipulating random variables. Tinkter. Tinkter is the most commonly used method for developing a graphical user interface, a standard interface to the TKGUI toolkit shipped with Python. Moving on to number 9, we have Rock, Paper, Scissors. Embarking on game programming is a fantastic avenue for mastering programming skills. It involves utilizing various tools found in real-world scenarios and the added perk is that you get to assess your outcomes by playing the game. An excellent starting point for your Python game programming expedition is the classic game of rock, paper, scissors. Libraries used? Random. Random is a built-in Python module used for generating and working with random values. It provides various methods that can be used for creating and manipulating random variables. Tinkter. Tinkter is the most commonly used method for developing a GUI. Pygame. Pygame is a cross-platform set of Python modules designed for coding games. It provides computer graphics and sound libraries that are intended to be used with Python. Moving on to the last project for this video, we have a tic-tac-toe game. Tic-tac-toe is another classic and the last Python project we will discuss in this video. We can implement it using mathematical functions provided by Python. It is a wonderful project for grasping the fundamentals of Python. Libraries used? Random. Random is a built-in Python module used for generating and working with random values. NumPy. NumPy is a Python library that adds support for large, multidimensional arrays and matrices along with a massive collection of high-level mathematical functions to operate on these arrays. And last, Pygame. Pygame is a cross-platform set of Python modules designed for coding games. It provides computer graphics and Scion libraries that are intended to be used with Python. And with that, we have come to the end of this video on top 10 Python projects for 2024. If you feel that we have missed out on something that we were supposed to discuss in this video, then please feel free to drop them down in the comment section below and our team of experts will answer them for you. Thank you and keep learning. 
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.